Teddy Feinberg, Brooke Stockburger, the show is back, week seven, Teddy Brooks show, We're talking about weekly high school and college sports locally in Las Cruces. Let's get the ball rolling. We're going to start by talking state football playoffs on the high school level. Cruces High at Manzano. Brooke? Yes, Cruces High going up the road. Manzano comes in the number one you know, seeded team. They knocked off La Cueva, who had been the number one team for most of the year. It's going to be really hard for Cruces to go up there and win. Uh, Cruces can, like you said before, grind it out, kill some clock, but... Manzano's pretty, pretty loaded. I mean, obviously the number one team in state. You get to this point, every team is good, but we're talking the number one uh, club. Manzano's a little more finesse team. Cruz is a little more straightforward. Cruz is going to try to run the football. Tall order, but hey, you never know. Cruz is a great team, very well coached by Jim Miller. We're going to shift our attention to the Mayfield Trojans. Although they're the number six team, they actually had a home game against the number two seed, La Cueva. Brooke, what, what do you think the deal is? Yeah, game Friday night, so we'll know going into the Saturday game if Cruces has a chance to uh, make it an all Cruces final. But uh, Mayfield hosting La Cueva, uh, the only loss La Cueva had was to Manzano, and La Cueva um, handled the Trojans pretty well earlier this year. So. Yeah, 45-12 final. It starts and ends with Ronnie Daniels, who's arguably the best player in the state. We're talking about running back over six feet tall, over 200 pounds. He's a Division One prospect. He really can run the rock. Mayfield's going to have to stop him first. But for whatever reason, I feel like this is going to be a competitive football game. I, so. I don't see the Trojans getting blown out by them twice at home. Like Brooke said earlier, Mayfield wins, Cruces wins. Those two teams meet in the state championship. So keep your eye on both of those games. It's critical. Uh, Aggie football season finale at home against Hawaii this Saturday, 1 p.m. start. What's up? Yeah, they need a good crowd. They've had a tough year, but this like it's senior day. Get out there and support the Aggies. It's going to be a tough game for them. Hawaii's a really good team, 8-3. and three. They've won seven of their last eight. Uh, they're winning by an average of 44-8 to eight in their last three wins. You know, they beat up, they beat Nevada, and Nevada just hung 52 on the Aggies last week. It's so going to be a tall it order. It doesn't sound good. i, I got to give Hawaii a ton of credit because – when they first lost June Jones a couple years ago, I thought their program was done, but Greg McMacken's done a good job there. They have a great quarterback in Brian Moniz and underrated defense. Tall task for the Aggies. Go out, support them. It's the last game of the year, senior day. This truly is their bowl game. Speaking of the Aggies, we're now going to talk about Aggie basketball. They lost the other night to UTEP. UTEP handled them pretty easily. Yeah, and it, it's weird. If you look at the stats, the Aggies really out-rebounded them. But uh, UTEP just hit, hit a great from three-point land, and um, the Aggies are on a four-game losing streak. They need to get a little momentum back. It wasn't a great road trip. Tough to stop a team when they're just straight-up blistering from three-point territory, which the Miners were. But the Aggies are really going to have to come back and rebound. They play them again next week at home. They have UNM here twice in the next couple weeks, too. So the Aggies really have to do well in their rivalry games. It's so important for NMSU to succeed in those games because it really dictates a lot of the season, and frankly, it dictates a lot of the fan base and who comes out and supports the club. And if you can at least split those games, you get momentum going into conference. That's exactly right. Folks, thanks for joining us again. Check us out on Facebook and at Twitter or at lcsun-news.com for all updated information. Also, if you want to submit questions for the Teddy and Brooks show, feel free to do that. You can email us. You can submit them from Facebook as well. Have a great week. See you.